guys, this week's video is a fun one. I basically challenged myself to do one pastel portrait every day for seven days. We always used to use pastel back in like primary school and <laughs> no one really knew quite how they worked. I just used to cover like an entire page in colored pastel and then go over with black and I used to scrape out. But that was pretty much my extent to pastel using. Let me know which one's your favorite because I really can't decide. Also, this is my first voiceover video. I'm not really used to the whole YouTube lingo yet because I'm still very new on YouTube. But if you like this type of style of filming with the voiceover while I am drawing, please let me know what you guys think. Your feedback is really important to me and it helps me create better videos for you guys and helps me edit and try new things as well. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. So as you can see, I started off by just cropping my card smaller, um, making it nice and straight, and then sketching on the portrait. It was nothing fancy, just super simple. I really wanted these portraits to be really bright and colourful and just play around with all different colours that I had. This was obviously day one, which was the first portrait, and I really liked how it came out. It was probably one of the bigger ones and had a bit more detail than the others. This is now moving on to day two, the second portrait. I did this man in a beanie. He was pulling a face in the reference image, that's why his lip looks a bit strange. But overall, I really loved this one because of the colours that I used, and especially the yellows and the oranges that I bought through on his face. Sorry guys, my camera battery died and that's why there was such an abrupt angle change. But all in all, I really liked how this one came out. Now as we move on to day three, I shifted to a smaller piece of card. It was a really quick and easy drawing. I think from start to finish it took me like 15 minutes, if that. My lighting has also gotten better. I set up like a little rig, I guess you could say, where I put a bunch of different lights on and hopefully that makes the quality of the video better. Moving on to day four, I drew this lady and I decided to give her this really bright green jacket and red hair. She reminds me of Ariel and I think it's because of the colors. Yeah, and again, I was just playing around with colors. I wanted <laughs> you can hear the hardy dolls. Um, bright colors, day five, you can see again, I've done another lady with long hair, also wearing a hat. Again, just playing with warm and cool colors, bringing in highlights and the shadows. I think this is probably my least favorite one out of all of them, maybe. I don't know, I just, I don't feel as attached to this one as I do with the other ones. What do you guys think? But anyway, I was struggling with the smaller portraits because obviously sometimes it can be quite difficult to pick up really small details with pastels because they are obviously so big. So that's why I just decided to move back onto a larger piece of card and create a bigger portrait. As you can see again, I had to start by cropping my card and my board. I was actually just using um, the cardboard in the back of an exam pad from like high school. I used to collect these things. And yeah, so for this one, I wanted to go in and I kind of wanted to have this effect of like cooler colors on the left side and then warmer colors on the right side, which was cool. But as I started to include more colors, they started to kind of overlap each other and become murky. I didn't mind it too much, but it, it didn't really turn out exactly how I had envisioned it. But again, I think all of these projects were kind of just um, going with the flow and I had no idea what they were going to look like at the end. But yeah, again, I really loved being able to pick up on all the highlights in this one in particular, even though it is a bit murky. The thing I love about pastels is they're just so vibrant and they give so much life to an artwork because of their color. I don't know if that's just me or what, but I just love things that are colorful. I think that's why I use so much color, because I don't have a favorite. And then finally, the last one, day seven, the seventh portrait in the series, I decided to do a lady and give her this bright red jacket and purple afro. I really liked how this one came out and I thought it was a great way to end off this portrait series. So there you have it guys, seven oil pastel portraits for seven days. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more creative videos like this. Comment and let me know which one's your favorite because I'd love to know. But otherwise guys, have a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday.